I know you're going to dig this. Everybody. Welcome to Baltimore, Baltimore, Maryland. I love this city. This city is so nice. There was so many, just everybody where I stayed, where I've eaten, so sweet and so nice to me. This is a great city. If you ever have a chance to come to Baltimore, I highly recommend checking it out. And especially where I am right now. Take a look at this. One of the major tourist attractions is the Edgar Allan Poe House here on Edgar Allan Poe Square. And we only lived here for two years, 1833 to 1835. But it's a National Historic Landmark now. So 1972 was declared a landmark. Welcome, welcome. So for you that are just joining us, um, unfortunately, hi everybody. <laughs> Welcome, welcome. Um, if you're just joining us, unfortunately, I am having technical difficulties at the moment. Um, I have only part, I have only one light working downstairs, um, but I have no Wi-Fi, meaning I can't take any card transactions. It has to be cash only. And, um, I can't provide any receipts. So I don't know if you heard that. I have technical difficulties inside, so they can't do any uh, car transactions. I can't pay with my debit card or credit card. It has to be cash only, and only have one light working downstairs. Very appropriate for Edgar Allan Poe. So, can't do the tour. This house for two years this is where he lived with his cousin now he was 23 she was 10 and when she was 13 he married her Now, Edgar Allan Poe was born in Boston, not Baltimore. But like I said, he moved here in about 1833. If you're not familiar with Edgar Allan Poe, he essentially invented the detective fiction genre and helped invent the science fiction genre. He was a poet, a literary critic. His most famous poem, The Raven. He really dealt a lot in the uh, with death, suspense, terror. That's what he's known for. And that's where he lived. And now, I'm gonna show you where he's buried. But he died wandering these streets, somewhere here in downtown Baltimore. He, it was 1849, this is so bizarre. Now, he was muttering the name Reynolds when he died. He's taken to a local hospital where he's pronounced dead. His last words were, Lord help my soul. And there's even, his death certificate has been lost. People say he died of alcoholism. People say he died of heart disease. Rabies. Cooping. What's cooping? It's when groups of people would, I just had, I looked this up, would gather up like destitute men on the street, take them to a house, ply them with alcohol, and get them to go and vote. It's like a form of electoral fraud. 
get them to go and vote over and over again. Change their clothes, they just get them so wasted, so effed up, they'd have to go and vote over and over again so that those people could get whoever they wanted in office. They say that that's what killed him. He was cooped, cooped to death. Who knows? There's no death certificate. We don't know how Edgar Allan Poe exactly died. We just know that he's died. He's dead. He's no longer with us. It was 1849. I don't think anybody would be. I'm pretty sure he's dead. Pretty sure. So, right here is where Edgar Allan Poe was buried. Right to the left of me. They got a whole little thing set up about him here. Let's go in. Don't be afraid, you're with me. You're with me. All right, we're getting to it right now, right beside me, at Ground Poe's final resting place. One of the coolest graves I've seen. So this was his aunt here. Here's Edgar Allan Poe right here, October 7th, 1849. And his wife, Virginia Clem Poe. But like I said, it was also his first cousin. Things were done a little different back then, just a little bit. So you've seen Edgar Allan Poe's grave, right? You've seen it here? But that's not his original grave. No, his original grave is over here behind the center. He was moved to that location afterwards. But his original one is right here and there's still something here about it. This is cool.
So yeah, this was the original Poe family plot right here. So yeah, this is the original Poe family plot right here. So he was here for about 26 years and then moved to the monument that I just showed you at the front of the cemetery. So if you want to see this, you come around to the very back of the cemetery. And this is where he was originally buried. And then, like I said, his mother-in-law and his wife, which was his cousin, which was his mother-in-law's daughter, which was his sister-in-law's brother's uncle's barber, something like that. They're all there, not here in the back. But this is the original place where Edgar Allan Poe was. There you go. With Quoth the Raven Nevermore. Etched above. All right, that's it. I'm going somewhere else. The next video I'm making today, I don't know what I'm gonna put up, but it's probably by one I've been working on for two years now. And I'm gonna go and finally do it the proper way. So, hope I get that one done. All right. Oh, it's caused me so much stress, but I can do it. Because I'm doing it for you. And you're right here. Well, underneath here. Under my wing, you know what I'm saying? Under my wing, like a raven. B-I-R-D in the air. I gotta stop talking. Edgar Allan Poe, peace to you and you. and. Edgar Allan Poe, peace to you and yours. And peace to you. And peace out. This was cool. I've always wanted to come here. Glad I did.